Tina Harrington and Rick Peranian became parents in January of 1983. They named their baby girl Holly. My firstborn child, our Holly. When Holly's parents were working, Rick's mother, Maureen, looked after her granddaughter. She was a pleasure. She was no trouble at all. She was a sweet little girl. She was given a little bit of freedom that summer. We knew something really bad had happened because we knew she wouldn't have gone off walking in the woods without both of her shoes on. Lifting up trash can lids to see if your daughter is in there and screaming out her name and praying that she was going to be okay. match and identification to a person was made. I and matched forensically is a David Edmund Kulia, formerly a resident of Springfield, now deceased. Uh, he passed away, he died in 2003. Well, she was a typical 10-year-old. Uh, she wanted to be a marine biologist. She loved the water, she loved swimming, she loved being out in Sturbridge. Um, she was out there on vacation with her father and her brothers, and um, she was just a lovable little girl and we miss her. Pretty much, we've all been just hanging on, waiting for this, and we've always told that we had to wait for technology to, to come along, and it's been a long wait. Hopefully this is, this is the technology we wanted. never goes away. The only thing is that you get used to the pain. It was the worst, worst time of my life. Nothing compares to burying a child. Nothing's been the same ever since. It doesn't feel like it's been 25 years, most, most days, and then sometimes it feels like it was a lifetime ago.
She was just a sweet, sweet person, and you know, we, we miss her, and to think what could have been, we wonder, you know, what, what, what she could have been, what she could have done. Her friends have grown up and gotten married and have children, and we say, that could be her. 25 years later, we're still missing this beautiful little girl. She was going to be able to swim with the dolphins, and that was her goal at 10 years old. Please confess, please. This, how, you can't forgive somebody when you don't know who the person is. Maybe she wouldn't have been a marine biologist. Maybe she would have been something else. But that choice was taken away from her. We really need to find out the person or persons who are responsible for this. We need to be able to understand what happened. Why, why did you do this?